Think of every Frankenstein movie, every Dracula film you've ever seen where you have something sparking in every corner and there's a lightning bolt in the bottle, all that cool old electrical stuff. It turns out that nearly all of those props, working props, came from a little shop just outside Hollywood called Jadis Moderne. Actually, it's not a shop at all. It's one man's private museum of everything that used to be the next step in technology, my personal playground. Now, if you watch closely, you'll see I get electrocuted twice, but I'd go back to do it again. Step into this twilight zone of technology. It's called Jadis Moderne. It's a Jurassic Park of industrial dinosaurs and the personal playground of Park Meek, a 70-year-old prototype for the Doc Brown character in the movie Back to the Future. This technical shop of horrors specializes in antiquated mechanical devices, pioneer communications instruments, obsolete scientific apparatus, old business machines, and just plain neat junk. This is the ionosphere. Well, it's not the ionosphere. It's a plasma globe, the second largest ever made. This is Jacob's ladder. Well, it's not a real ladder. It's 9,000 volts of electrical spark trying to reach heaven. And this is Dr. Frankenstein doing some kind of brain experiment. Our show is about the next step in technology, so... Uh, no, I'm this, sort this of is, <laughs> You should have come to me 50 years ago. <laughs> this would have been the next step. Yeah, right. <laughs> this is just, you know, a collection of weird stuff. But if you want to be a dentist, portable dentist. This is great for hot dogs, too. This is an eight ball, Mike. Wow. Non-directional. What the heck is this? I haven't the foggiest. <laughs> uh, 1926 portable radio. <laughs> 1926 portable radio. <laughs> right, with batteries and everything. And speakers built in and the whole works. Antenna. <laughs> like it? It's the world's first boom box from the 1920s. About 60 pounds. Notice how they got smaller and smaller, and then all of a sudden they got larger again? If you thought of opening up a museum and charging the public to come in or anything, or? No. I don't want to stand, I mean, I don't want to stand around and explain all this crap. <laughs> <laughs> what he does do is rent this stuff out to Hollywood movie companies. It's alive! Well, actually, it's a Tesla coil. This is actually a prop house. We rent props to the motion picture industry, that's all. There's no way to, ma no way to make money, though. <laughs> if you pay the rent, you're lucky. What is this? This isn't like a power plant. This is just something you made up? Yeah, right? it's a totally imaginary. But it I mean, looks like something out of every oh, movie yeah, I've ever sure. seen. It's got a lot of power here, but there's nothing. Ba -ba -ba -ba. You want a 1930s vintage microphone? They're here, RCA, sure and Electro Voice. There's Bakelite black rotary dial phones, doctor's instruments. This ancient attachment was supposed to cure things with a spark, such as acne, warts, and other skin problems. And if you had a vision problem, you were supposed to hold this up to your eyes. Whatever this system is, it was supposed to cure everything from headaches to hangovers to Preparation, ouch. Need a brass cine edit projector? Or how about two dozen Pyrex glass lab beakers? Or maybe some turn of the century typewriters? There's more stuff? Well, we got plenty. In a bit of serendipity that Meek is hard pressed to explain, he began accumulating his cache of gizmos in earnest about five years ago. He buys in bulk by the pound and has no sentimental attachment to any of it. What's the, your favorite thing about collecting this stuff? Is looking for it. Finding it. That's the challenge. That, that's the most fun. That, that's the only reason I have the business, so I can go out and find more stuff. I don't know if I'm going to say anything. Ah! Oh, with a couple of million volts lying around here, you can barbecue your hide with one false move. This ain't a place for the easily shocked. But it is amazing just how astounding a lot of this old stuff is. Check this out. An ordinary fluorescent bulb. Nothing here. Nothing here. But with a little help from science, we have a lightsaber from Star Wars. Actually, electricity is trying to pass through me to the tube and exciting gas molecules inside. 
I'm acting as a medium. After that last shock, it's more like, well done. See, now do you understand why members of the public are not invited into that museum? The experience can be uh, quite shocking. However, you can, if you look closely, see Park Meek's toys and motion pictures from the original Dracula to Jurassic Park.